changing a lot of things here to be able to write to a file. So instead of buffered reader, output stream. So let's do one with that. File output stream, just like just so that you can see file input stream as well as file output stream example. I'm setting it to null. Make sure you organize your imports. Then I have a um, string that I want to write. Then my file output stream object I want to tap I want to make the stream object tap into a file names.txt so again I'm using chaining and I am organizing my imports if in the try block. So we have made our file output stream tap into the file. Let's create a byte array. Which will take my data. And we're going to convert it into bytes. And now I'm going to use my file output stream object to write this bytes array into the file by simply flushing it. And I can inform my user with a system.out.println write done. All we need to do is at the end of the process in the finally block, we have to make sure that the object gets closed. So if file OS is not equals to null, then file OS needs to be closed. So now when you run this program, it says write done. And now after you refresh your project, if you double click on names.txt, notice that the content of names.txt has now been changed from I am an awesome programmer, Java programmer, so this is my Java data for the file.